Hi Aries and welcome to your January 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for your sign in the month of January. Welcome back Aries. I hope that you're feeling really well and I hope that this new air Aquarian energy is giving you a little bit more hope and uh, idealism for your um, oncoming month. Um, I think that the month of January is going to be uh, really nice. You know, you've got a lot of uh, brand new energy that you're working with. Um, for all the fire signs, this uh, new Jupiter-Saturn conjunct in Aquarius is um, making the fire bigger, you know, the fire element needs air to grow. So it is a very growth-oriented month for you, and if you don't watch out, the flames could really take off, you know, with all this injection of air energy, and that's kind of what I'm seeing for you, where you might have gone a little while uh, feeling like, you know, um, you were working with a very small spark or a very small amount of fire and it just was not really enough to fuel the um, Aryan demands that uh, make you such a pioneer. So you are really seeming to get back into your pioneering um, status this month and it also feels like you are taking on more and uh, really captivating yourself with you. Um, so being captivated by your own desires, being captivated by your own momentum, really coming back into a favor with what you are striving for and not feeling so much heaviness, not feeling like you're having to take on so many, um, you know, difficult things that are not yielding the right results. So let's talk about um, the uh, week to week in January of 2021 for you, Aries. So um, moving straight through, you've got first week of King of Swords rooted down by Ace of Pentacles. And the first week of January, right as you move into the calendar new year, is going to automatically change up your uh, material ideas or your material philosophies. Um, King of Swords is about pinpointing issues and being able to resolve them quickly. So the first week of January is going to be about a resolution with uh, material, a resolution with finance, a resolution with uh, what you've also been given. So Ace of Pentacles is about being given. So some of you are given a new career or given a new um, system through which you gain material security. Also, this could be a new health system, a new uh, system of uh, striving for health or gaining health again. And it's not blurry. It's not uh, going to elude you how you go about this. Like it becomes really clear and it becomes really distinctive. Um, the uh, efforts you need to take in order to feel like you have more in your life. So feelings of lack, feelings of limitations feel to be fading away in January. You know, that sort of five of pentacles energy that you were dealing with, that really heavy earthy energy. Earth and fire do not um, harmonize well. In all of 2020, you had so much um, heavy earth, uh, which puts fire out, you know, if there's too much earth. So you are also adjusting to having way more fire because the air energy is fostering that, as I said. Um, so that's going to be really clear right in the beginning. And it seems to really just give your mind a clarity about uh, what it takes to um, hold the center and what it takes to be held also. Um, letting the universe kind of hold you is important too, it seems like. Like it might, you might be doing too much yourself. You might be um, taking on too much. You might be um, really trying to control more than you need to. And it feels like how you really uh, hone back in on your inner pioneer is through um, allowing yourself to be held and trusting that problem areas will be identified. Because an issue for Aries is uh, finding problems where there are none. Um, that's been an issue for this sign for the last few months. So that's meant to subside in the first week of January. And you move into the second week with the tower rooted down by the Empress. So that's interesting. Um, you might have a bit of a melting or dissolving of what once used to comfort you. So old comforts might be moving away. You know, the ability to sleep in every day or the ability to have complete control of your schedule might be changing as you're taking on new desires or really... Um, making concrete the goals that you have. You might have to get up earlier. You might have a little bit more um, ways that your time is budgeted, budgeted out. And through that, you can see a bit of a dissolving of a type of freedom that you had before over your schedule. But through that, you also are getting more in the long run. Um, so anything that deals with long run, uh, like long term gain through, I don't want to say sacrifice right now. It seems to come up, though, if you're facing anything like that. Um, and what I like about the Tower and the Empress being together is it's like whatever does fall away is something that makes you more secure, safe, 
and materially well off. The Empress and Ace of Pentacles also coming up near each other um, says to me that you might be getting a raise or a promotion or having access to more uh, benevolence in your life, uh, more prosperity. So you have an, a great opportunity to um, offset any type of destructive energy you're feeling or chaos. Um, I will say, I don't know any families right now who don't have rifts in them. Um, so any type of familial rift, any type of drama in the family seems to be well offset by another type of prosperity. Um, so in, uh, yeah, really looking at rifts, really looking at uh, issues where there is that tower-like feeling of collapse or challenge or uh, sudden, you know, stark issues. Um, that's going to be important to compare to the influx that you're also getting, to compare to the things which are coming into your life, and to really make sure you're not fanning the flames also. That's really easy for air and fire signs right now, to fan flames of discord, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing really loud and strong. So the Empress is kind of like sitting idle. It's like pulling back. It's like observance. It's like um, not needing to contribute too, too much to any uh, tower-like situations. Yeah, just really keep that in mind, fanning the flames when it comes to drama, when it comes to rifts, when it comes to uh, problems with uh, people who are close to you in your life. Do watch out for that. Week number three, you have justice reversed, rooted down by the three of wands. Um, so you are getting away from unfairness. Uh, Justice Reverse says that there might have been something unfair that happened or that you might have been treated unfairly. Um, and you're, this doesn't feel current to me. This feels like due to the reversal, it feels like it's something you've been uh, working with and looking at like, okay, did I actually get totally taken advantage of in that previous relationship? Was I kind of in love with somebody or really connected to somebody who was actually using me the whole time? There are a lot of aha moments like this coming for people where the past takes on a very different tone with this Aquarian energy. You know, we can already all feel that where life is suddenly taking on a different tone and that is beautiful, but it also leads us to draw new conclusions. And that's really the main center point, I think, of your month of January 2021, Aries, is the drawing of new conclusions and sort of realizing, okay, this person that I was really attached to before who gave me a hard time in the long run, Maybe I was attached to them because I had a lot of coping to do and there was a comfort about that and there was a closeness. But at the same time, it's like the for that other person, that ended up being a um, just a source of energy for them and not really something that was right for them either. So you can feel used or you can feel uh, taken advantage of or you can sort of introduce that as what that used to be for you. And now you have to cope for it in the third week. You have to look to new horizons. You have to see what's on the horizon for you, you know? Um, you gotta kind of play things safe also a little bit too. Um, anything relating to legalities, anything relating to um, contracts or anything like that, um, watch out for that in the third week. Try to keep clear of those things if you could. And if, if you have them, uh, get that second opinion, you know? But uh, I love Three of Wands with that also because it says you are also getting a new perspective on balance. Justice is also about balance. So imbalances can be seen in new perspectives. Um, hormonal imbalances, uh, you know, imbalanced diets, imbalanced nutrients in the body can now uh, be revitalized through uh, new procedures or new uh, plans or new horizons. So uh, do try to find a new horizon with anything that feels off kilter, all right? Whether that be that old relationship, whether that be this health problem, uh, look to the new horizons and really try to see the truth of it. Because in the fourth week, you've got the hero font rooted down by six of pentacles. And that is some like real spiritual work you have going on there, Aries. Really pay attention to this fourth week of January for all of us. I mean, that's going into Aquarius season. It's the biggest Aquarius stellium we might have ever had. I'm just kidding. Um, certainly the biggest Aquarius stellium we've had in a very, very long time. Um, so an Aquarius energy, like we've talked so much about lately, is the energy of transition. It is the energy of alchemy, the energy of turning one thing into another, like transfiguring um, one idea or feeling or experience to another. And that's really evocative of your fourth week too. So it feels like you might be pulling out of one thing and putting into another. You might be um, really uh, in an energetic way seeing where you've cultivated results 
and doing some fine tuning with that. There are better ways to do what you're doing right now. Um, not to make it seem like you're not doing well, but optimization is a big keyword for everyone, but especially the fire signs. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag have to really optimize and work with their fire energy well right now because it can go out of control all right you can kind of get and this is it can get a little bit manic especially for you and sagittarius leo's a little bit different because leo's a fixed sign it's on the axis of aquarius so it's a more controlled type of fire element but the cardinal and mutable fire signs um, especially in the beginning of this aquarian time can really go wild and you know burn everything down if they're not careful with that in mind it's so good in the fourth week of january to think about things in a more holistic, totalistic, like totality, it, taking the totality of a situation, the holistic idea of a situation into mind in a way that you haven't before. Okay, so you have this career and you enjoy it and you, um, or you want this goal or you want this career. Try to think about the more holistic, more... Um, long running vision of it and how you can contribute over time and how you can work with this in the most optimized way watch out for impulses watch out for sudden moves like that's what jupiter and capricorn has taught us all is like how to not act impulsively when we don't need to and just because jupiter saturn and pluto are out of capricorn doesn't mean that we just have free reign to go crazy and act totally uncontrolled and totally out of that Capricorn thought. Um, so this is an interesting thing that a lot of people don't take into account, but um, this is a very astrological type of philosophy. Um, once you live through a transit, that energy doesn't just magically go away. It stays forever in the energy of a soul. So we will always live with that Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto conjunct in Capricorn energy to a degree. And yes, while the transiting planets are changing, we're learning new things, we're going through new experiences, we are called to work with the energy in a totally new way. Um, nonetheless, we still have to take the lessons of what we've been through. It doesn't mean that we just no longer are, um, you know, watched over so closely as we are in Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and Capricorn. It doesn't mean that we um, can't you know, not consider the long-term implications of things just because we're out of Capricorn mode. You know, we're still in Capricorn season in the beginning of January, especially. And it's a very responsible uh, thought that we have to consider with that. Okay. So um, focusing back on the fourth week, though, uh, there's something about hierarchy coming up. Six of Pentacles is the card of hierarchy and the hero font is also, it has the same root word, hierarchy, hero font, you know. So the rank of your experience, you know, like the what order you defer to people in your life, like family members, the deference to family members, deference to employers, de deference to, um, you know, anybody with different ranks comes up for you. And also um, what you are um, consuming and where that's coming from. That's really important. And that's I've actually gotten a new idea of Six of Pentacles just through this dialogue where it's like, um, what hand are you eating out of, okay? When you're going through the drive through for food, when you're um, purchasing groceries at the grocery store, where is that coming from, okay? It's an interesting societal thing right now where we really don't know where what we consume comes from. And it's something that we can't really control and something that we can't know completely, I guess. Uh, but for the fourth week, Aries, um, more personally for you, um, you can make a little bit more of an optimized time for yourself by thinking about what you're consuming and what you're having in your life and what you're bringing into your interior space. It does feel like it needs a bit of fine tuning, and that would be for everyone too. But you seem to be really uh, leading that effort, okay? And contrarily this can go the other way too like what are you feeding other people what are you introducing into the world what are other people around you consuming that you are giving so six of pentacles is about giving receiving it's about compromise and about the uh, order that we prioritize things in our lives the hierarchy of priorities all of that comes up in the fourth week so this kind of looks like a time at the drawing board actually for you in the fourth week and it's not just material, it's also spiritual. Um, so basically, you're going back to the drawing board in the fourth week of uh, January. And isn't that beautiful to have that opportunity right there and then to um, think a little bit more about 
priorities. Okay. Anyway, Aries, thank you so much. That seems like a really good, appropriate place to conclude the reading. I'm going to do an extended for you over on Patreon, so that will be linked in the center of the screen as well as below in the description box. Um, we do weekly forecasts on Patreon. We do um, early ad-free extended readings, all for the one monthly fee. And your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube make my day also. Thank you so much, Aries. See you next month. Let's jump over to Patreon for the extended now. Bye.